Hi, my name's Julia Gonzalez, and I welcome you to my channel. If you've never been here before, I love to travel to explore different cultures and amazingly delicious foods. This week, we're in Rome. I'm going to bring you along on a local market tour where we'll visit three amazing markets you must check out when visiting Rome. Welcome to the Central Market in Rome. Located just outside the Termini Terminal, the market is home to about 16 stalls that include a variety of amazing foods. From pizza to meritozzi, it's hard to choose what to start with, but there's plenty of choices for you to explore and enjoy. Maratozzi is a sweet Italian bun that are fluffy and light, evenly split, and then filled with fresh, delicate whipped cream and dusted with powdered sugar. Oh my god, have it on. Alright, so now we have this soupy rice, tomato sauce, and basil. Mm. It's good. Oh, and cheese. We have some friends here. Hi. <laughs> See if I can get our friends here. Oh, they're, they're playing hide and seek. It's so cute. These are called rapacinos. It's like a pizza pocket for your, for whatever you get inside. All right, so this is a meatball. Oh, let me get it out. Here, let me just, so, it's hot. I'm gonna put it back in its hot pocket. Mm. Oh my God, that's so good. Oh wow. I really like that. The meatball is so flavorful. Here's the chicken one. Take a look at that. That's so cool. A lot of flavor in the in, in the in spices in the meat. That's the nice thing about coming to the market. You can try like little bites of like many different things. You don't have to commit to one plate. There's no commitment. If you're afraid of commitment, come to the market. <laughs> So now it's for a grilled mix of meats. We got some chicken. We got some, this looks like a sausage. Sausage. Pancetta and steak. Okay, I'm starting with the um, sausage. Oh yeah, that's nice. Very flavorful. I think I really like the, out of everything, I really like the um, sausage. So 
a very traditional dish here in Rome is fried artichoke. So the lovely lady who helped me downstairs to get this asked if I want it warmed. I said, if that's what you would recommend, yes. Because <laughs> I've never had this, I don't know. And then she asked if I wanted salt. And I said, do I want salt? And she said, yes, you want salt. So I said, okay. I'm gonna eat the middle here, because that's like the heart of it. So I'm gonna just get in here. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that is good. It's like a French fry, it's really good. That was absolutely delicious. Coming to the market is so much fun because you can now try a little bit of everything. And, ugh, so good. getting a little lost in the tunnels at the train station, we finally found our way to Italy. Italy opened in 2012 in the old Onstiense station terminal in Rome. It's a store organized to look like an outdoor market. People describe Italy as an Italian gastronomic megastore with 40 stores worldwide. This one is the largest in the world at 170,000 square feet on four sprawling floors. They have several eateries, cooking classes, on-site beer and cheese making, and 14,000 products for sale. Italy stands for Eating Italian, which encompasses the history and the food culture of Italy. Most Italians don't use Italy as their everyday grocery store, and after visiting the store, I can understand why. It's just completely overwhelming. It's fun to visit, and it's great to pick up those specially hard-to-find items or take a class, dine at one of the restaurants. It's an overall adventure for sure. We headed over to one of the many restaurants housed in Italy. It was nice to sit down and relax and enjoy some yummy Italian made sandwiches. So if you're interested in visiting the store but a little intimidated about doing it alone, check out Green Line Tours. We noticed a group coming into the store while we were there. Okay, so we're heading over to the pistachio market. Harold keeps th thinking I'm saying pistachio. I am not. So we're heading over. It's a local market where a lot of locals do their local shopping for their local produce, but it's also like where students go and pick up food uh, in between classes. So super excited to try some local dishes and show you around. Just across the river from the bustling and popular Travestevi area lies Testaccio, a small Roman neighborhood with a quirky history and a big foodie scene. The Testaccio market has a long history dating back to the second century AD. It was in the 1930s that a wealthier middle-class inhabitants gradually moved into the neighborhood thus slowly transforming the atmosphere of Testaccio. Along with the slaughterhouse came the cattle market. This was naturally a hub of local life and street food for workers and buyers alike. It was here that those who had worked at the market or slaughterhouse would take off cuts of meat home to feed their families. Local inn owners whipped up hearty meals using the meat, 
initiating a new sort of Roman cuisine. The district became known for its foodie credentials throughout the city, with the market being the place to go and pick up delicious foods. The slaughterhouse was in operation until the 1970s. The market, however, was moved in 2012 to a new premise. As the older premises had become a bit dilapidated, the new market was a purpose-built structure. The idea behind the construction was to mirror the layout of the Romans' open-air markets that take place in the piazzas of the city. So we're starting here for some soup leaves from Food Box. So I clearly ordered way too much. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I ordered two of each. So I got the cache de pepe and I got the classic. So let's give them a try. Oh, I'm really good. I don't know, I'm like addicted to cache of pepper ever since I came to room. It's so good. Okay, so here's the classic. It's got cheese. It's basically a rice ball with cheese and deep fried. It's really hot because he just made them. Mm. That's really good too. Yeah, I like right? one better. You like the regular one? Mm -hmm. I like the cheese in it. It has basil, tomato. Yeah, cheese, basil, tomato, rice, tomato sauce. Bellissimo. He didn't speak any. Um, I think that's something that you have to consider when coming here is you should know a little bit of Italian because this is a local market, so not everyone's going to speak English. But I get by. He understood what I was saying. I just ordered too much by accident. Next up, known for their yummy sandwiches, we hit up Morty and Devai. All right, so I went with the meatball. Got Oh, good. A meatball, the sauce. It is full of flavor, and that bun is like so fresh and amazing around it. Lastly, what I liked about the Testacio Market is they also have stalls selling home goods and clothing, which is different from the other markets we've seen. Okay, so. That was really yummy. Super great market. If you really want to be embraced in like the local culture, it's the place to go. I'd recommend knowing a little bit of Italian. So check it out. That concludes this week's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the tours of the local markets here in Rome. We'll have more coming from our stay in Rome. And until next time, get out. There's a whole world you deserve to see.